This has come as a surprise to the body politic in Egypt. There had been a feeling that this confrontation would come, but that it would come at some point later down the line. The president only formed his cabinet last week, and he made General Tatanwi one of the people who's been sacked, um, the defense minister. And then there's been an upsurge in violence on the borders, and he's um, sacked him. So by removing the most senior generals so early, and by, more importantly, cancelling their attempts to control the Constitution, he's really said that he is the power in the land and they must get out of the way. Well, a lot of people are very nervous about this. The Muslim Brotherhood has been essentially in confrontation with the army for very many years, trying to establish itself as the most popular force in Egyptian politics. And the army has been trying to bat it back. So now we've got a point where they've come to power, they hold the presidency. It's uncertain times because they're trying to write a new constitution. The military had been trying to control that process as much as possible, and now the military have been pushed aside. And President Morsi has more power than even President Mubarak did. So internationally, people will be very worried that this will open up a new cycle of confrontation and instability in Egypt.